At ease, everyone. Uh, Mr. President, it is my honor to introduce to you the crew of Coast Guard Station Lake Worth Inlet and the Marine Safety and Security teams from Miami, Florida and Kings Bay, Georgia. I uh, would like to thank you for everything that you brought in for us today. This is quite an honor to have you here, sir, and uh, the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. It is an honor to be here, I have to tell you. You know, the Coast Guard, always respected, but if you were looking at it as a brand, there is no brand that went up more than the Coast Guard with what happened in Texas. And I would say, in particular, in particular Texas has been incredible. You saved 16,000 lives. Nobody knows that. 16,000 lives. In fact, when I first heard the number, I said, you mean like 600, 500? 16,000 lives in Texas. So as bad as that hurricane was, and that was a bad one, that was a big water job, right? It kept coming in and going back. They couldn't get rid of it. They'd never seen it. I guess it was the biggest water dump they've ever seen. But uh, when you get 16,000, until I look at good-looking group of people. <laughs> but when you do 16,000, that's really something. And then Florida hit. And you know that one very well. You knew that one pretty well, right? And the lucky. job you did in Florida. And then Puerto Rico. And I, I really mean that. I think that there is no brand of any kind, I'm not just talking about a military brand, that has gone up more than the Coast Guard. Incredible people, you've done an incredible job. And I love coming in here and doing this with you today. I think it's very, we have to keep you very well fed. Okay. These are, these, this is good stuff. But it's an honor. And this is the first lady you know. Happy and, Thanksgiving. And we went, we went to, uh, we went together to Texas and we saw what you were doing. And uh, you just followed that storm right next to that storm. You just, and you saved so many people. I still haven't figured out how people take their boats out into a hurricane, okay? I mean, someday you'll explain it. Gene was just telling me that they actually do it to save their boat in many cases. But they're not thinking about their life, they're thinking about their boats. And uh, I, I don't know, I mean, they go out in a boat and they think, I guess, they're, you know, they've got a wonderful boat, they've had it for years, it can weather anything, and then they have 25-foot waves crashing down, and uh, that would be the end of them. But. So you saved a lot of people. And I just want to thank you on behalf of the whole country and on behalf of us. Uh, what a job you've done, and thank you all very much. And I'll also take questions if you – now, should we leave the media here to do the questions, or should we tell the media? You know what? It's Thanksgiving, so let's let the media stay, okay? Uh, anybody have any questions about the country, how we're doing, or any of those things? I love it when you don't. <laughs> <laughs> See, that means you're doing great. I love that. That's the greatest. Uh, the press, I know, doesn't have any questions. If you do, we won't take them, but that's all right. <laughs> the press has plenty of questions. Um, but the country's doing really well. Stock market, all-time high. This is all good stuff. I just spoke to uh, a lot of your friends in Afghanistan, in, in uh, Iraq. Uh, we spoke to the USS Monterey, great ship great missile ship. We spoke to a lot of different folks uh, from the Air Force, the Army, just now, a little while ago at Mar-a-Lago. The telecommunication systems, what you can do now, we go live to Iraq, and live to Afghanistan, and it was really incredible. But uh, I told them, our country is doing great, and you folks are fighting so hard and working so hard, and it's nice that you're working for something that's really starting to work. We've cut back so much on regulation and all the waste and all the abuse. And the stock market on Friday hit the all-time high, the highest it's ever been, ever. Your whole long life, the stock market's higher than it's ever been. And that means your 401ks and your all of the things that you have, you know, whether it's even if you're in the military, you have a country that's really starting to turn. And we want to have a strong country. We want to have a country where I can buy uh, new uh, Coast Guard cutters and not have to worry about it, all right? And that's what we're doing. We're building up wealth so that we can take care of our protection. And we're ordering tremendous amounts of new equipment. We're at $700 billion for the military. And you know they were cutting back for years. They just kept cutting, cutting, cutting the military. And you got lean, to put it nicely. It was depleted was the word. And now it's uh, changing. The Navy, I can tell you, we're ordering ships. Uh, 
uh, with the Air Force warning a lot of planes, in particular the F-35 fighter jet, which is, you know, almost like an invisible fighter. I was asking the Air Force guys, I said, how good is this plane? They said, well, sir, you can't see it. I said, yeah, but in a fight, you know, a fight like I watch on the movies, a fight, they're fighting. <laughs> how good is it? They say, well, it wins every time because the enemy cannot see it. Even if it's right next to it, it can't see it. I said, that helps. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> That's a good thing. But, I mean, we have equipment that nobody has the equipment that we have. And it's sad when we're selling our equipment to other countries, but we're not buying it ourselves, okay? But now that's all changed. And the stuff, I said, the stuff that we have is always a little bit better, too. You know, when we sell to other countries, even if they're allies, you never know about an ally. An ally can turn, you understand? You're going to find that out. But I always say, make ours a little bit better. You know, give it that extra speed, a little bit, keep a little bit, keep about 10% in the bag. Because what we have, nobody has like we have, and uh, that's what we're doing. But we're really proud of the Coast Guard, and I'm very proud. I walked in today, and Gene said, the day I got elected, the following morning, they were putting up the statement that I made uh, right on your front door, right on your glass. And I came in, the first thing I noticed, of course, <laughs> I said, wow, look at that. And I said, did you put that up just for me because I happened to be coming here today? And you did that the first day, so that tells me something. That tells me something. Thank you, Thank you Mr. President. Special guy. Let's go, fellas. Come on. Let's get up here. Let's get up here. This is good stuff. You know, this is made by Trump's people. Okay? Thank you. Look at the muscles. Can I beat him in an arm wrestling contest? What are my chances of an arm wrestling contest? I think I'd, I think I'd be in trouble. Trouble? I think I'd be in trouble. Thank you, man. You take it. Thank you. Thank you, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you. Thank you. Look at all these guys. They're, so, they're in such good shape. What's going on here? Huh? Fantastic. And you know what? Keep it that way. It's great. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank you very much. Thank you.